Assalamu alaikum guys. I hope everybody will be fine. Today my topic is very interesting related reinforcement lapping zone and beams. Also I will guide you for basic rules of lapping and beam. So let's get start guys. As you can see guys this is diagram for beams and column. As you can see this is column. These are columns and this is beam. So the question is, where is the best place to provide lapping length in the construction of beam? Remember guys, we have positive bending moment and negative bending moment. So in the case of positive bending moment and negative bending moment, we will see and we will find the best place to provide lapping length and beam. As you know guys, we have positive bending moment and negative bending moment so like this guys you can see here okay so here guys this is the span between two column suppose this is suppose this is 6 meter and this is also 6 meter okay so here guys we have positive bending moment here we have negative bending moment also we have positive bending moment and negative bending moment okay so now where we can provide lapping length where is the best place in tension zone also in compression zone guys you can see this is its section this portion is called this is compression zone this is tension zone sorry And this is compression zone okay remember guys where we have positive bending moment as you can see at the middle because we have maximum tension when we apply the load on the top of the beam okay then you will see the positive bending moment and negative bending moment remember guys the the lapping, the lapping is not allowed at the bottom in beam for tension zone the lapping is not allowed to provide at the middle here because here we can't provide lapping that's why because we have positive bending moment in tension zone okay but here remember in compression zone you are able to provide lapping here so you can provide lapping at the top portion so at this portion you can provide lapping length at the bar, uh, at the middle means the total length should be divided by 2 so L divided by 2 so the lapping should be provided at the middle and top portion not at bottom portion because here we have negative bending moment guys you can see okay so here in the case of positive bending moment our maximum tension we are not allowed to provide lapping length and beam specially here you cannot provide lapping as you can see this is a lapping so the lapping is not allowed but at top portion lapping is allowed the other steel rod should be joined with this here okay so here it is allowed to provide lapping length now here is the best place to provide lapping and bottom portion guys you can see so in that case the lapping is allowed to provide in the junction so the junction is here at the support so here you are able to provide a lapping zone lapping length okay so here you can provide the lapping at this place also at this place you can provide the lapping okay and you can extend the steel rod here you can provide okay because we don't have the maximum tension we have negative bending moment so here you can provide at the junction but you are not allowed to provide at the distance of l by 4 at the top you are not allowed that's why because we have here bending moment or we have negative bending moment at this place so you are not allowed to provide the lapping at the top portion but at the middle portion at the middle portion of the beam you are allowed to provide in compression zone at the middle you can provide but not at this place are at this place you are not allowed but you are allowed to provide the lapping here at bottom portion also you are allowed here at bottom portion especially in tension zone you are allowed to provide okay but here at the middle you are not allowed at tension 
okay also at the distance of l by 4 you are not allowed because here uh, we have positive bending moment at, at the middle we have positive bending moment at the top portion we have negative bending moment so these are the rules okay now next guys what should be the length of lapping so the length lapping length should not be less than 50 d in beam where d is die of steel rod Suppose if the dia is 25 mm, suppose or if this is 12 mm, so here 50 multiplied 12, it can give you any value, then about, uh, you can say this is about 600 mm, okay, so for 12 mm dia, you can take the lapping length six, 600 mm, so you can make the length of lapping 600 mm. If that is bottom portion or a top portion, but the lapping length should be not less than 50 d, but the lapping should not be provided at the middle and top uh, and bottom portion. But you are allowed to provide a top portion because we have here no tension. But at here we have positive bending moment, so we are we, uh, here we have maximum tension. But at top portion we don't have, so you are allowed to provide at bottom portion we have maximum tension, so we are not allowed to provide. Here guys you can see we have negative bending moment so we are not allowed to provide at this place because we are providing at the middle. Here we don't have so therefore we can provide at the junction especially at bottom portion. Hope this short video can help you for uh, reinforcement, lapping zone and beam. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.